we going? Did actually hear a bit of a spoiler for one of the upcoming quests in Legion. But to be honest, it wasn't that surprising. Um, just saw it floating around online. Then again, I'm not even sure if it's real. It's just people talking. Who knows yeah, the accuracy of it? Just gonna ignore those herbs and ore. Just stay uh, continue with this. I need to target something first. Apparently you only care Apparently I extinguished it. No, I just sorry I, I, you know, snuffed it out of reality. Never mind. My mistake. Okay. But yeah, he cares more about these that aren't really that much couldn't be that much of a nuisance. Then, you know, the huge bonfires. <sighs> and to be honest, I question if you want all these raging fires in the middle of a jungle. I'm just figuring that's a bit of a fire hazard. Then again, I don't really see the fire marshal coming around to shut them down, do, do ye? Bit outside the fire marshal's jurisdiction. Ooh, damn! Max out run through does a fair amount of damage, over two thousand, which can basically just you know one shot any of these enemies. Here is their chieftain. Um, huh. Yenu, envoy of Zanzu. Uh, but yeah, they're ch the skull sweater chieftain's intimidating that person. But we, that's none of our business. Okay, maybe I went in a little over my head considering I don't have like fan of knives or anything. Ah, we'll be fine. We got the potion. Well, we didn't even need that. That's nice. So, we need to extinguish four more of these, three more of these, and we need to find Braddock. Not who, sure who that Zanzil is. Uh, it's probably a ho the Horde quests. Uh, remember the other person up here? We, we went and killed the guy over here, while there's another su uh, there's Sumner over there. We ignored the Sumner. Um, and just killed the uh, burly guy. Who knows? Maybe the alliance resurrects the blood lord while the horde resurrects the other guy. Mm -mm. We'll have to wait and see till I get um, Hunrin down here. Though it is nice to see that the chief does count towards the uh, Zul Mamwe Mambo. Oh, and here is a Berserker. Ah, he doesn't look like the Berserkers we saw, saw elsewhere. The, remember I was saying the guys how the Scourge had their versions, but it was made clear that the, their versions were in Northrend. But it was made clear that their versions were made via um, uh, Scourge magic and, you know, experimentation. These guys just e exist, and it's never clarified how they exist. Similarly, um, you find some orc that had, got, you know, gone under a similar transformation. It's explained how it happens in this one scenario, but suddenly the horde has their own version, their their own one, and it ain't explained there. Its water shield, uh, 
It's basically like ice armor. I have deduced that you must die. I should have predicted this. I think he just likes to throw out big words. But that's pretty much it. He must have been one smart skull splitter. To be honest, that sounds, uh... Oh, what's that word? Uh, it's not, it's, it, that sounds like an oxymoron, honestly. That's a word I don't really get to use very often. So, anyway, now that we've done that, we'll stroll on back. And we've actually managed to explore over here, over there, despite never actually being there. It's very interesting. That's just what happens sometimes with the map. It's strange, but that's just how it is. Eh, we'll grab the iron while we're up here. May have to stop now in a sec. I do wonder how those auctions are going. It's actually knowledge that I have any now. Surprising. Don't know why I didn't earlier. Uh, you. I can see the difference already. I can't wait until later tonight, when I get to perform my observations again. Off and away. Normagin loves me because I kill, you know, uh, kill trolls to snuff out their nightlights. Fantastic. As promised, your reward. You do the troll nation proud. Should actually open these. Frees up some space. But probably feels I shouldn't bother trying to get these because uh, they're just so low level. And they don't really have that much of value on them. But, eh, I'll give them a shot regardless. Extra big spells need extra big brains. Yes. Hold on, next part is tough, yes. Lots of chances to fail, yes. But Kolgrat and Kolgrataka are going to be reunited. Yes, they will. It's not called Kolgrataka. I'm not... Either that's a, a mistake, or... That implies the tiger and... The raptor and Kolgrat are now one. Well, you know, the pie is a deeper connection, either that or it's a flop up on Buzzard's side. I'm not sure. Mind control, very powerful, yes. We Sorry, I... T I'm going to just go take a look out, I think, when the cat's jumping after jumping off the windowsill. No, I, I, we had a cat before, they'll jump up onto the banister and jump over it, uh, on t you know, down the stairs. Um, we were worried he was going to end up hurting himself. He he thankfully didn't dare. He did. Years later, he managed to paralyze his back legs. Again, jumping around, presumably. Which is fucking depressing. I'll be back in a bit. Hello, hello, folks, and I'm back. I was gone for a bit, I'm not actually sure how long, I just ended up having a very long chat with Mum. So, mind control. Very powerful, yes. With luck, you can help Organaka escape from Zulgrub. Then Organaka becomes Kogorataka again. Oh, so it wasn't a weird mistake. Uh, it's just that she, that's the very that had been the very first time she referred to Organaka as uh, Kogorataka, so I was puzzled. Uh, recording locally, 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 locally. Uh, and across, up, left, right, up. For some reason, I've mentally associated that last bit, you know, the mic check thing I do, it's an obsessive thing, with Legacy of the Void. And it's a particular later on level in Legacy of the Void. Um, you get to play as the face met. Um, he's like a hero character later on in it. And I, I really want to go replay that level. Aye. 
uh, speak to Priestess Yes and help uh, call Garotica escape. Bow to the High Shaman or spirit, Jungle Spirits Embrace. May your days be long and your hardships. I'm ready for the mind control ritual. Ata Talal. How do you how do you say her name? Dash. Six percent movement speed increase uh, for five seconds. You wish to escape? That is fine. But first but you must know some things first. Stay away from the trolls. They will not kill you, but they will trap you and bring you back here. Speak with every raptor you see. Not only can they teach you new abilities, but they'll help you remember your progress and make your p a path out of Zulgrub much easier. You already have a dash, a dash ability. Use it to get out of tight spots. Oh, and stay out of the water. Good luck. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Good thing it's got great suspension. Also, seems the trolls like to pat patrol in conga lines. He just had to take a pop over his head. Damn it. I. Alright, trying again. Kind of underestimated, overestimated them. Let's see. Hmm. How do you get through here? Do you... Hmm. <sighs> this WoW isn't really kid out for stealth sections, I don't think. Eh, it works. You are very... You are brave to try and escape, yeah. O young Oganaka. Before you continue, let me teach you how to use your teeth to bite through the troll's nets. Uh, learn to bite through nets from the Elder Raptor. So now we can do that. Does not work on iron weave nets. Do they actually use iron in it, or is it like uh, iron wood from some fiction? Like it's, um. It's like wood is hard as hard as iron, rather than uh, anything else. I think you get what I'm trying to say. Like, is it actually like an iron, uh, a net of woven iron, or is it some other material of a similar name, uh, named after iron, because it's the same like, durability level? I'm probably reading way too much into it. You're leaving the raptor's dens? I was commanded to guard this post and prevent escapes, but... I think I, under I think I understand why you want to leave. Fine. You may pass, but first I have a request. The trolls often carry packs of raptors' food, and I haven't been fed in days. You don't stand a chance in combat, but you're small enough that you might be able to steal it from one of the sleeping trolls inside the tents. Alright. Tenny G U. Tenji U? Uh, I'll go get you some food for the sleeping trolls. Alright. Have to find a tent without a guard out, out front. God damn, this is precious! Oh! My god. What is with that weird sound? A sack filled with odd bits of grizzle and uncooked meat. It only lasts three minutes though. You want to pick up the pace? Oh! Oh, that is precious! That is adorable. I've brought some food for you. Thank you. In return, I'll teach you how to distract the trolls up ahead. Uh, it teaches you how to light fires from the Elder Raptor. 
Uh, or learn how to light fires from the Eldoraptor. Uh, pick up a burning twigs from braziers, then use light fire to burn down Zool Grub Tiki's. This is very intelligent. I'm starting to understand how the raptors end up having fetters tied to them. Oh, I was actually meant to hit an ability. For a moment I told you I forgot that I got an ability, figured it was just moving closely enough. Get over here, brothers. Quick. <laughs> They're gonna put out the fire by punching it. And um, that's a lot of them. Someone's been burning my tiki. Obviously, the raptor with the twig in its mouth. It was, you know, being a bit brazen, to be honest. It's a fire. Hurry up, Mon. <laughs> the scene the troll was punching like that, you know, standing five feet away from the actual fire, trying to punch it out. It's kind of funny to see. Quite impressive to have made it this far, Oganaka. You're truly a talented young raptor, but the toughest test is yet to come. The trolls patrol the bridges up ahead, and they will be difficult to distract. You may drop a skull in their path, however. Uh, if you drop a skull in their path, however, you may be able to cause them to trip and fall. And let me make sure I'm actually recording. Loku, 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 Line across, line up, line to the left, right, up. Cross, up, left, right, up. Just because this can't be redone, I'm waiting, and it's, you know, different than normal quests, I'm waiting for something to go wrong. Learn to drop skulls from the Elder Raptor. Pick up Gorobashi skulls from skull piles, then drop them in Troll's paths. To be honest, it's kind of surprising the Trolls notice, considering how damn, um, Move. Damn it. Ah. So, Alright. I remember them saying that the, uh, they would help remember my path, but... That really does make much sense. Anyway. Let's sneak past. And let's try to do this right. I was hoping I could still toss the skull down on the bridge earlier, even though the guy was coming towards me. Then I did it completely wrong. For a moment, I totally like swayed to move out of the way of it, like you know, pre preemptively. Must regain and balance, man. Ah. Alright. To be honest, he's fair chance he's actually dead. There's a fair few beasties in the water there, like a giant um, hydra. Also, that part is actually blocked off when you come in, in here during the dungeon. I swear, anyway. Um, plunging into Zul Grub. Two high priests. Hmm. Yeah, you have to come here as yourself. Um, not in this form. Um, there, we'll do that. Um, so, yeah, I guess you, you probably have to fly in. You know, use a flying mount to fly over the portal. Or, from any angle. I kinda do like the fact that him plunging into water did at least cause a ripple in it. Probably Fields was missing a few other effects, but at least that happened. Ah, oh, come on. Let's go get another skull. That one and the, uh, the guy I knocked in ended up getting replaced there. Well, it's just a bloody n n nuisance. I certainly have a plenty of crushers just lying around.